I'll do it tomorrow. I still got to do homework. I got to catch up on that shit. Um, even though I have certification as for chemical dependency technician, there's just one certification towards um, the associate's degree. And then, like, next semester, I got to do an internship. And then after 180 hours of that, I got to do a second internship, which is another 180 hours, which none of them are paid, which is part of why people, you know, get the fuck out of the state every time. One, there's, there's one class that I have to actually go to on campus, and the majority of the people in that class are women under 21. Don't ask me why. I'm not the one who decides that. But if I got thinner and more buff, you know, towards summer when it gets hot out, I could wear muscle shirts in there, and they could be looking at me. And, you know, while I'm up there, it's public speaking class, and while I'm up there doing my public speaking, I could be in a muscle shirt and shorts, and I could have, you know, a bunch of hot little, you know, 20-somethings salivating over my delicious body. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh man. Just to let her have me. Just to let her just take me. God damn it. Ah. Oh. She'd be screaming my name in absolute ecstasy. She'd be crying her eyes out, saying, why have I dismissed this man as the god that he is? She'd be just, oh, she'd be just, uh, just hypnotized by the lust of flesh. Her sister is Brianna, and something else, what is it, if I can get to the second part. Where? Brianna is the youngest, I think. Brianna is the younger, or are they twins? I think they may be twins. They may be twins. She's only 5'3", because it says, uh, Brianna's 5'3". And she's not that much taller. Oh my god, she's a fucking mess. There we go. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think like a, a, a criminal mastermind. What I could do is I could figure out where their parents are living. See if there's any houses in their neighborhood that are for sale. Do the real estate investor thing. Like just walk up to their house, introduce myself, say, hey, I'm buying properties in the area. Can you tell me about that house across the street? Ingratiate myself to them. And then one of them would slip. Oh, I have a daughter about your age. She's single. That is one big pile of shit. <laughs> anyway. So fucking awesome. I don't think she's that way, actually. Um, she seems really close with her family. She actually seems kind of conservative. So, um, I'd have to do a lot more research to, like, find out. What you mean by more research is more stalking this young lady. Which isn't true. Which I doubt her past lovers have done. Her past lovers have probably fucked around and said, this is just a uh, blend. Ah, ah. 
You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. It, you know, I, I would have to learn about her proclivities. You know, and I mean, honestly, if she was just, you know, if, if she was the type and she was just going to be like, uh, you know, slap me around a bit, you know, I wouldn't mind. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. If, if I had a hot, sexy, blonde woman like her, you know, salivating over me, uh, I would not mind. Would not mind in the least. And your classmates saw this video. And that's exactly why you're not in the drug and alcohol counseling program anymore. Thank God. <clears throat> the command dream. <sighs> Get me so excited I might not be able to control myself. You're not able to control yourself. That's the problem. That's why you can't qualify to be a drug and alcohol counselor. It isn't because of some video that Salami Nugget put out. I very much doubt any of your classmates saw that video. But I know you, you had to tell everybody about your YouTube video or YouTube channel. So somebody in your class saw that. And somebody in your class gate let that young lady see that video of you salivating over her. Some 20-something. You're almost 50 years old. Yeah, don't blame the trolls for you getting out of that program. For one, you were never qualified to be in that program. I don't know why they even let you in there. They took your money or whatever, but <laughs> you were never going to be a, a drug and alcohol counselor. Uh, that's just the facts.